Since her daughter was just a baby, Laura Smith has tried to keep chemicals out of her home and away from now three-year-old Cecily. I actually like read the labels to see what's in it and go to various websites that um, are known to kind of compare different products. Trouble is, some of the potentially harmful chemicals are in products that don't have to label their contents. And even if they were, avoiding them had to start even before Cecily was born. Dr. Shanna Swan of Mount Sinai's Icon School of Medicine is an author on one of two studies, one in the U.S. and the other in Sweden, looking at a subtype of common chemicals called phthalates. There were two that we found to be bad actors in our story, and um, those are the two phthalates, dibutyl phthalate and benzyl butyl phthalate, and those are found in lots of household products like wall coverings and floor coverings and furniture, upholstery. The studies are similar to this one being done at the University of Illinois, where mothers-to-be provided blood and urine samples and then responded to a questionnaire when their children were about two and a half years old. Both studies found that the children of women who had the highest levels of these phthalates understood significantly fewer words and were therefore considered language delayed. This measure actually turns out to be pretty predictive of later IQ, performance in school, and later language facility. These particular phthalates are not found in personal care products like cosmetics, but are in household items that end up in the air and dust and are ingested that way. Now, that's what makes them almost impossible to avoid. And because they're not in products that are meant to be used on the body or consumed, they don't have to carry labels. Again, they're everywhere in flooring and upholstery, so you really can't avoid these phthalates. The study authors say the only way we might be able to get rid of these particular phthalates out of the environment is through governmental action and regulation. And the chances of that happening are kind of slim and none. Okay. Definitely won't happen tomorrow. No. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Dr. Max. Bye.